Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for mid-May. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for somebody, not everybody. All right, we're just going to see what comes up. Gemini, what do we got for the month of May, middle of May? Uh, you know, the timing is fluid, so it may resonate now, or you might need to watch it later. Um, we'll see what happens. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? <laughs> well, isn't that just beautiful? It is beautiful. This is happiness. Extreme happiness. Bliss, contentment, enlightenment. Victory, warmth. Happy times, good times, Gemini, good times. Growth, period of growth. Something is opening up for you. You may be shining during this time. Absolutely shining. Ooh, the hair font reversed. Ooh. Maybe you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo. Just saying. Doesn't mean that you are. Um, you could be losing faith. You know, you could be. You could be losing faith. You may not be listening to your inner guide. Um, you may not be listening to guidance. Maybe somebody's trying to give you guidance and you're just not listening. Eight of Cups reversed. Hmm. Four of Pentacles reversed. Opening up. Something is about to change for you. Ooh, King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Wonderful. So something is... Huh. Eight of Wands reversed. Uh oh oh my god wow you may be feeling exhausted <laughs> i mean look at we went from light to dark oh my god so the, it starts out as you know you're shining you're you're glowing you're you're you're, you're happy then there's some sort of loss I mean, there is, this is a loss. The Ace of Pentacles is a loss that brings you backwards. I can't make this shit up, okay? I hate to give you a message like this, but something takes you a step back, okay? I'm sorry, but that is exactly what this is. The Wheel of Fortune is like it's something just puts it to a halt. You know, i got to be honest with you. This is reality. This is real life. It's not all peaches and cream, and I know that you guys know that. You guys are very realistic, okay? So we're not, I mean, so things start out really good, you know? Things are going well, you're happy, you're, you're, you're feeling really good. Then this person is out of his seat. This person is not sitting down. He's got some sort of agenda. He's, he's made some sort of decision. He has. He's decided to do something. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that takes something from you or decides to, I don't know, this person, the time is up. The time is up. Somebody is, this is a loss or a potential loss. There could be a shakeup in your foundation. I gotta be honest with you. Fours are foundations. Four, four, four. Oh my God. Four, four, four. Now all is well. You're gonna be fine. Whatever this is, you're gonna be fine because this is angel protection. Fours are angel protection. Your foundation, these fours are reversed and one of them is upright. It's gonna make you feel discontent. I'm sorry. 
I can't just pretty this up. And I know that you guys are real, so we're good with that. All right. Ask your angels for assistance at this time with 444 because it's like there's invisible forces here and they everything happens for a purpose and you may not, I mean, you may not realize that in the moment because there's a loss of something that you have held on to. Okay, this is something tangible. This is a loss of something that, you know, you had in your life. It was there. So if this is a loss. Something is going away. Um, Eight of Cups, it is going away. I think the, the time is up, whatever it was. Something is going away. It's probably not going to make you happy. This is like exhaustion. This is exhaustion. You know, you, you may be overwhelmed by this loss, whatever it is. Um, it's going to take you a step back and that is the truth and I can't I mean you got to hear the truth right you can you could choose to live in fantasy land for the rest of your life or, or not but you know whatever somebody this person is making a decision he's not sitting down he's ready to make a move the time is up he could be he could be well let's get some cards and see what this is He's moving in a new direction. Somebody is moving in a new direction. They're finding their strength and their courage to go in a new direction. Be careful. Be careful. This will probably make, put you on the defensive. You may feel like you need to defend yourself. There could be a fight. There could be a battle. You know, There could be some drama that comes about that... hurts you it could be a very intense time you may not be able to master your emotions very well you could be dealing with an individual who totally withdraws from you they don't communicate with you they just shut down emotionally and it causes you to overreact emotionally so just be careful be careful there could be some dramatic event that puts you all in your feelings really makes you feel emotional at this time Absolutely, 100%. You could go through a period of emotional withdrawal yourself, <laughs> you know. Maybe you're dealing with a person who is emotionally unavailable and they decide to walk away. I mean, i got to be honest, or you decide to walk away. I mean, I, I hate to give a message like this, but it is what it is. I can't pretend. There's, there's something that is coming to a halt. Now this four of pentacles, that the four of pentacles reversed is it's time to relax. It's time to just take a break. And this is take a break. This is take a break. You need to take a break. You need to relax. Take back control of your life. This is a time of, of personal freedom. Okay, so you are being released from something. This is being released from something that probably was unhealthy for you anyway. It's like the they see the puppet strings, the strings are being cut. You are no longer going to be tied to something anymore, whatever it is. It's like, this is taking back control. You know, this could also be somebody that is opening up to you. Somebody, you could be dealing with a Capricorn that is opening up. But this is somebody who is emotionally unavailable right here. Definitely. You could be dealing with somebody who is emotionally available and they're getting ready to open up. Empress. Ooh. So this is the birth of a new life and you, you're probably going to experience some pain. I'm sorry, but you are. You may be experiencing some pain during this time because there is a loss of some sort. This is a loss. You cannot pretend that's what it is. But this loss is is pushing you in a new direction you know the pain that you are probably going to feel because to become the empress you got to feel pain is going to build your character it's going to make you stronger and it's going to bring your reward in the end you're going to have it all you are going to have it all it's going to bring you something you know very abundant you may not see it when it's happening because it's going to it's like three steps forward two steps back or two steps forward three steps back okay that wheel of fortune reverse this is something that is happening it's meant to happen it's destined to happen 
Because it's going to make you stronger. It's going to bring you reward. But this has to happen. Something has to happen. You, you may be go grieving. Okay, this is a grieving. Five of Cups. It is. You may be grieving. There could be regrets. There could be sadness. There could be some mourning going on. This is, you know, an emotional loss. You're, there's probably going to be some tears. I am, I mean, the King of Cups reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, the Five of Cups. There could be some tears. I've got to be honest with you. Um, but I think in the end, you're going to take care of yourself. You could even be receiving an offer of love. You could be receiving emotional support from somebody. Um... Somebody may be offering you love, trying to help you to heal. They may be offering you some help. This is leading to wish fulfillment. You're going to have it all. This is going to uh, help you. This is abundance. This is abundance. It's going to make you more abundant. So you are losing something, but the gain is so much bigger. You may go through a moment of no energy. You may go for an, uh, go through a time of uh, no ambition, no energy, no drive, no no passion. You may feel less than um, energetic at this time because you're going through some sort of. I mean, this is exhaustion. Whatever is happening is you may feel exhausted. It may make you very tired. You may go through a period of. Whoa, you know, it feels like it's whoa. Um, but balance will come back. It will come back. Somebody, you're going to get something out of this. You may receive something. Uh, you're going to get something that is going to help you, that's going to help you to bring balance. Somebody's going to come and they're going to help you. They're going to help you to balance out the uh, situation. Whatever this is. Somebody's going to give something to you. To help you. Could just be emotional support. This could be a financial loss as well. This could be something that you lose on a financial level. Okay? I mean, it could be. This is something that was big in your life. Um... Six of Pentacles. Gift. Somebody is going to give you something. There's no doubt about it. You're going to get something after this loss. Somebody's going to come to help. This could have something to do with your family, with your home, with your legacy. It's like there's some cords that are being cut, some bond, okay? The devil reverse that is being cut with somebody in your family or something at home. I, I can't pretend I'm sorry. It's a family issue. It's a family situation, whatever it is. And it's, it's like, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign. Or you're dealing with both. You, you know, it could be the fire sign that causes the loss or is the loss or whatever. And the water sign comes to the rescue. I mean, I don't know. It's almost like somebody is coming to the rescue. Somebody is coming. It, that's what it feels like. Somebody's coming to the rescue. They're going to help you to bring balance and harmony back to your situation. They may, they may, you know. Yeah. Help you to heal. Okay. So... Help you to release this past hurt, this pain. Because I feel like you are going to experience some pain. 
but they're going to help you to heal. They are going to help you to heal. Um, you're going to receive some sort of reward after a loss. So I do apologize, but that is what this is. Somebody is coming. I think I can't remember what the last reading was for you guys. I feel like this loss is going to cause somebody to open up to you. You probably already know this person. This person is a healer. This person is a healer. <clears throat> it's part of the script, whatever this is. Whatever this loss is, it's part of the script. You've probably seen this coming, believe it or not. I think that you probably have. I feel as though you may not be prepared. You probably think that you've been prepared for it. You've probably getting prepared for it, but you're really not prepared for it. Okay? Because there's grieving. There's grieving. There's sadness. But there is love. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming to offer you loving support or tender loving care. So rest assured, happiness is coming. This is like a healing. Somebody is going to come to help you heal. No joke. From some sort of loss. And I don't know if this <coughs> is upright or reversed. Emperor. We could be dealing with an Aries. We could be dealing with a father. I don't have any waters in here. <coughs> we could be dealing with a husband. Whoever this person is, this person is in control and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're probably like, oh no, 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 that's me. Well, this is, I am this one right here, giving you this message. This person is in control. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, if you are the Gemini male, I still think this isn't you. <laughs> I do, I feel like this is another person. This could be the boss, okay? This could be your boss. You know, somebody could be getting fired. I'm just giving you examples. They could be losing their job, something that was stable. This could be a father. This could be, uh, you know, this could be a father. I mean, it could be a loss of a father. It could. It could be a loss of a husband. It could be anything. Um, I'm being honest with you. This person is in control, and there's not one thing you can do about it. So, Gemini, I feel like this middle of the month, you are not prepared for this loss, even though you think that you are. I don't think you are. You're about to have some sort of rebirth. This is rebirth, and this is rebirth. Believe it or not, the pain that you, and there is pain, okay? Pain brings you new life. So you are about to start on, start a new life. You're about to go through a rebirth. It's like the time is up. The time is now. I just happened to see that clock for these strings to be cut with this unhealthy situation that you have been trapped in. This is going to open up the possibilities for you. You're going to receive some sort of help tender loving care from somebody that you probably don't expect mm. 
the magician me first. It's like you can't you can't pretend. You're you were probably dealing with a very crafty individual that who has been lying to you in some way or deceiving you and it's like it's going to just all come right out on the table. Maybe you've been reluctant to shed your old skin. Maybe you've been reluctant to change. Maybe you have been reluctant to take your power in your own hands and cut some cords. Whatever. Maybe you've been deceiving yourself after all. This is you. Either way, time is up. It's time for your new life. Be ready to experience a little bit of pain because it's time for you to receive some sort of reward. To get the reward, you're going to feel some pain. So that's the way it is. I can't change it. I'm sorry. Good luck.